I'm a fifth spirit player in this game and let's see where should I cap. If I cap in Denmark or Petra Zavodsk, I could take over two pawn hold Scandinavia, so I should take that into consideration. Then if I do not want to become locked, if I want to have more open couple spot, then I could consider either capping in Poland or Kharkiv. Also, I have to take into account that I'm one of the last players in this game, guys, so capping on a one drop territory could be risky. So if that's the case, should I cap in Poland? Because I do not really want to go with a block couple spot guys i think honestly poland it is i mean i will still be able to take over scandinavia guys even for a chance do not even necessarily have to have a couple guys i can just simply take over scandinavia anyways uh, so i guess when i expand to the russian empire as well because eastern europe right here is crowded by a bunch of trees let's take a look at those blizzards i stand in the british empire combined is a one point hold so very likely that somebody cap in london that would be a really strong guard and the narcops is a two territory content guys wouldn't be surprised if any of those players Cap in either Vienna or Trieste. Then Southeastern Europe right here is a good continent too, guys. Two point hold. If somebody cap in either Dinarites or Insable. Orient is a two point hold as well, guys. The blue player takes over Burgundy, guys. Let's see. Is he moving? Okay, moves into London, actually. So after all, no, did nobody cap in London? Orient right here is a two point hold, guys. Would be a good hold as well, but I think it might be really hard for somebody to take over the soul, guys. So unless we already have a continent elsewhere. And West Africa is a two point hold. With that player having an ability to expand to spin, too, guys. Take over Gascon and have spin and West Africa combined on their two borders. So, God, on the right, will make sense that if that player goes for this hole, guys. He takes over spin. His capital might be in Andalusia. Good to know. That's a really valuable info. Seven troops received by us. Okay, should we go big us and try going for the Russian Empire? Or should we take over Scandinavia guys because that's guaranteed what we take over it? First of all, one more troop over here guys, 75% blitz. Or I mean, let's just simply be guaranteed taking over Scandinavia guys and that's it. Right here, let's set the rest of the troops like that. Let's go, let's blitz pink. Let's take over this one troop territory as well guys. And right here, you know what? Honestly, let's just simply fortify our troops to our capital guys. Right here, we wiped out some territories of black. Eight troops received by the green player guys. Guys, here is hit more troops. Here is hit plus three additional troops because he is the last player in this game. He is the sixth player. And as the sixth player, you receive plus three extra troops. Right here, I didn't even guard Denmark, guys. Because it would be really random for the green player to go right here, guys. And alright, well, I see he is couching territories over here, guys. He is in southeastern Europe. So basically, even if nobody is in the Narcops, I basically should forget about Conf after this quantified troops. It is hit by the pink player. He hasn't taken over any continent yet. Hopefully, somebody is in West Africa, guys, because I do not want the white player dominating the game like that. If nobody is in West Africa, then the white player could expand to West Africa with him already having Spain and have both those continents on their two borders to guard. Nine troops received by the blue player. I remember him taking over London last turn, so he might have taken over the British Empire. Right, attacks a territory over here, guys, that's really useful for us. The black player received seven troops. It would make sense that he has taken over Iceland, or it could be possible that he lost his capital and took over plus four troop continent but i think he just simply took over iceland 10 troops received by the white player he has taken over spin guys and i assume he expands he just simply expands to west africa yes because if he saw that somebody would be in west africa then he just simply went for france instead right so there are a bunch of trunk players guys good to know 10 troops received by us we will in turn going after the russian part guys he more troops of a black player guys well, poor, very poor player called Black because right here we're attacking his territories again, guys. Okay, let's honestly take over this one too, guys. And let's fortify our troops right here. And okay, the pink player leaves the game, guys. Takes the last available place by raising a white flag. So right here, the blue player could still break us, guys. If the blue player wants. Or, I mean, it's a blue player of one guy sticking our territories in southeastern Europe. I mean, southeastern, yes, southeastern Europe. How many troops will he receive? The green player received only six troops, guys. The green player is a big player. Nine troops received by the blue player. Well, I guess I really necessarily captured Georgia, guys. Anyways, alright, we're good. So, with the blue player, guys, the blue player doesn't break through Russia. That's really huge for us. Additionally, we will expand to eastern Europe as well, guys. The plus eight troops continent. And our biggest rival will be white. 
white. Because the white player will dominate over the bottom left side of the map. And troops received by him will at the very least he hasn't taken over West Africa yet, but it's very likely for him to take over it now. Or I see him might just simply take over Italy, guys, at the same time too. The black player raises a white flag, guys. Poor, very poor player called black, like we've mentioned already. The green player still stays in the game despite having a weak position. Honestly, I would consider breaking through the white player, guys, but right here, here's the thing that the blue player is still in the game. I mean, on the other hand, the blue player is yet how many troops, guys? How many troops? Just nine troops? Yes. So, should I break through the white player, guys, because the white player is in a strong position? Honestly, let's do it, guys. Maybe the blue player will be chill with us if he sees what we're attacking white. Let's go. Okay, good blitz, guys. Let's break through the white player. It means the white player is getting a really strong position, guys. I'm okay, well, here's the territory of pink egg. Right here is the green player, guys. Good to know. Okay, here is the blue player, guys. Okay, let's fortify our troops like that. Right, so basically the white player went down right here, guys. He didn't intend taking over it at all. The green player is shit. Six troops total, guys. So now he doesn't hold the Nare Cups. Good to know. But where he is when we speak fish? Where he is, guys? Eleven. Eleven troops received by blue. Let's see what will the blue player do. Right, that's more troops right here, guys. Will he break for us? I mean, <laughs> he could not only break for Britain, guys, but for Kharkiv as well. Wouldn't be that good. Right, let's see. All right, okay, he makes it. He makes it, guys. He makes it, blitz. Yeah, so the blue player goes into war with us. I yeah, shouldn't have taken over France, guys. That wasn't that good of a move. If I just simply take another Eastern Europe, guys, I think I would have been good. Six troops to sit by the white player, guys. So he's with his capital alone, guys, and he has 12 to 14 territories. What will he do? Will he try to take over Spain, guys, or will he use his troops just to simply take over the staff? I think the staff are it is, guys, yes. But the problem is what we've got attacked by the blue player now, guys. Ah, yeah, I think we should just simply take over Russia, guys, at the same time grabbing Eastern Europe as well. Because right here means we only hold one corner, guys, just kind of navy. So let's go over here. Let's first of all blitz those troops of pink. Really good blitz, guys. How about if I just simply leave six troops? Okay, well, okay, seven, guys. I think seven would be safe because, I mean, or I guess, okay, the green player doesn't even see the territory, guys. Anyways, let's go right here, wiping out blue. Good. And let's fortify our troops like that, guys. Why I'm putting my troops in this lock place instead of Georgia is because the blue player wouldn't see, guys, how many troops did I fortify. Or basically wouldn't even think, guys, what I fortified any troops at all. Right here, he might consider breaking cross out Russia, guys, but he might just simply add two fewer troops, guys. And this covers what I have a seven troop capital. Well, in this case, the green player goes right here, guys. Goes right here. I mean, how many troops did he receive? Well, seven troops. And what will he do right here, guys? Will he break through us? Right where he is considering taking over Georgia, guys. Takes over this hold. And right where leaves us like that. Hmm. Well, the green player is making a combat, guys. And the blue player receives even 14 troops. Raids in an eight troops set, guys. What will the blue player do? Right well, I guess I do not care getting kept out from over here, guys. Yeah, basically right here the blue player. Ah, he will he goes up right here, guys. Ah, he will the blue player is targeting us a lot, guys. That's terrible. Yeah, and the thing is what we didn't even attack. The blue player, guys, we went after white. Right, but he's modeling, rolling down the green player's capital, guys. What? He will take over this as well. He eliminates the pink player from the game. Well played. Well played, sir. Few six troops received by the white player, guys. The white player is in a, such a weak position. The question is, what do I do? I right? yeah, mean, that would be kind of interesting to fight all of the players at once. So I think I would just leave the green player alone in Georgia. But I think I should go after blue, right? And at the same time, I'll break through a white player as well, guys. 20 troops received by us. I just sent more troops over here, guys. Because I want to disable the green player's visibility over here. Because I'm going to attack a bunch of blue. Let's go right here, guys. Let's do it. Let's take over this hold as well, I guess. Alright. Well, 11 troops. 11 troops of a blue player, guys. Well, let's break through a white player. Anyways, we already made him as our enemy, guys. Let's break a key well, such a terrible blitz, guys. Such a terrible blitz, guys. Oh, okay, and here is the blue player's capital, guys. I didn't expect... I didn't expect what it would be right here. Let's see what the green player does. We let him hold Orient. He might expand to Southeastern Europe. Or does he already have it, guys? Right, well, he is capturing territory somewhere, guys. Will he see him taking over Trieste? You know, 11 troops. Is it the blue player? Okay, so I guess he still has one Southeastern Europe, right? Right, add those troops over here, guys. Okay, that was actually the last territory of black, wow. Didn't see what coming, guys, right here, blue player will trade in a 10 troop set. That's it means, yes, basically he could break through all of 
our continents, but right here, key chooses to strengthen his capital instead. Alright, takes over this territory. Guys, right here, do not care about getting broken into France, because a white player would do it anyways, guys. Alright, and will you lock our capital? Good. Blue player locks his capital, guys. So the problem right here is what we already made the white player as our enemy, guys. And right here, we have two enemies total, white and blue. And if we attack the green player, guys, then basically we would be fighting all of the three players, guys. We do not really want, but what I want to do, guys, just to, to take care of a blue player, guys. That would be my goal. Right here, the white player fails with blitz. That's huge. And I mean, I could, I mean, I could try card blocking the blue player, guys. That would be fun. Right here, I'm not sure, guys, how many troops does he have in Southeast in Europe. I mean, let's check it out. Let's go. Okay, well, here is actually the green player. Honestly, I think I should attack green, guys. I just break for blue right here. Let's... Let's go, let's take over this capital, guys. Okay, never mind. Let's... Yeah, let's split some troops. Even nine troops, I think, would just simply be enough, guys. Let's go to attack. We green player right here, guys, and let's fortify our troops like that. Yeah, so basically, we're fighting with all of those players, guys. We green player, I guess, has North Africa then, right? Right, yes, and eight troops. Yes, would make sense what he has North Africa, guys. Overall, I think I just want to wipe out the green player from over here. Right, well, he is his capital then in this place. Well, no, he's fortifying more troops to Georgia. 14 troops received by the blue player, guys. Well, he was generous to letting us hold Eastern Europe, Russia, and Scandinavia. Okay, well, he will blitz us, guys, now. Ah, let's see, will see, will play it. He will move, he doesn't take over our capital, guys. Okay, hopefully he just simply breaks through right here, guys, and fortifies those troops to his locked capital spot in Ireland. That would be really good for us. Alright, blitz is our free troops as well, guys. Goes to Scandinavia, but at the very least, we should expect holding both of Scandinavians, guys, because the green player didn't break through us. And come on, you blue, please stop. Right here, the white player might have a set of free cards, guys, for. Right when the blue player does a bunch of damage to us, the white player only receives six troops. He doesn't have any continent, and the green player might be chill, guys. Honestly, he might be chill, guys, but the white player probably wants to win the troops received by him, well, if the green player is in the loot. Yeah, I think a white player would like to wipe him out. Yes, I think we green... I mean, so white player's goal is to take over this part of North Africa, guys. And just generally take over West Africa. So I think I should go after green. Either that or I'll just simply unnecessarily waste a bunch of troops on the green player, guys. Yeah, but the white player doesn't even intend retaking pin. He doesn't look forward to break through our continent ever, guys. So I think he's using all of those troops on the green player. And the green player might just be simpler right here, guys. Either that or I, like, again, I just simply waste a bunch of troops for a no good reason. And when the blue player ends up holding Scandinavia, guys. I mean, should I risk it for the biscuit, guys? I think I do it. Let's go. Let's see. I mean, it's a key well, terrible blitz, guys. Hopefully the green player doesn't have too many troops. Over here, let's check it out, guys. Okay, just one troop territories. Let's go. Is that the last territory now? It isn't the last territory, guys, unfortunately. Oh, well. Let's fortify our troops like that, guys. Maybe the blue player doesn't pay attention to us. Three troops received by the green player, guys. And that's hilarious if he only has his troops insert. Anyways, he trades in at 25 troops out, guys. I mean, right here, he should be going after white. I mean, it's attacking territories of white. Yeah, so it's even better what the green player trades in a set rubber than if he gets taken out by the white player with a bunch of easy cards. Nice. The blue player might be a problem to us, guys. What right here, we have a set for cards. We will be going after the blue player next. And basically, the green and white players could deal with each other, guys. Right here, we wipe out the green player from this part of the map. Just 19 troops received by the blue player, guys, which is terrible. But right here means we didn't retaliate. We didn't even retake over those conians, guys. We might be chill, but no. Right, it's okay. Right, well, no, he just simply goes for friends, guys. He just simply goes for friends, like that. Nice. He attacks territories of the white player, too, guys. And... How strong is Andalusia, guys? Well, it must be strong. Alright, so I think I just simply add my troops to Denmark, take over all of those territories, break through right here. Well, okay, well, three troops is hit by the white player, guys. He lost his capital. He lost his capital. Is he weak, though? I mean, he's at one card, well, will be at two cards. Will be at two cards. And then if I get to eliminate green, guys, I get additional cards. So, three extra cards. Well, the problem is what I would be when... If I trade in a set, guys, I would be when at four cards again. Yeah, I think I should go after blue, guys. If I want to go with the safe play. Let's trade on a set. Let's add our troops right here. Let's go. Four troops. It's a 100% blitz. Now we can adjust the slider blitz to possibly end up losing two our troops. Average. He well played the blue player says. He victory. He victory he says guys. He will let's go. Let's blitz those troops guys. Let's go over here too guys because I would like to possibly car block the blue player. Alright. Eight troops over here too guys. Let's blitz them. And hopefully, hopefully he doesn't have a set of three cards guys. He could still possibly have those territories over here guys. 
but I mean, we'll see. If we get in player eliminates what guys, he just simply gets two cards, so he will be at three cards, well, at four cards after he ends turn, guys, he won't be able to trade an asset. And right here, if he actually end up holding all of those continents, guys, then we basically go to eliminate the green player next, if he eliminates white. He will know. But let's see what about the blue player, guys. Is he still right here, or is he just simply left right here? Nine troops received by him, okay, well, he's setting was still right here, guys, hopefully he doesn't have a set and he doesn't. So even if he takes that army down, guys, we still end up holding all of those continents and he goes back to Iceland. Wow, that was a super amazing move to wipe out the blue player from those continents, take over the blue player's territories, guys, and simply trap him like that, guys. He doesn't even get a card, he doesn't even fortify any troops to mercy, guys, 60 freaking free troops received by us. Yeah, the blue player just simply raises a white flag, guys. Let's see what's up over here. Let's take over those territories. Well, the green player has both of those capitals, guys. I will go for a white one. Let's go, let's make a troop split. Alright, well, those must be the last troops, guys. 100% blitz, we make it. Let's go. Let's trade on a set, guys. And honestly, let's see if you successfully make it, guys. Right here, here is 77% blitz, guys. We make it. And right here, 51% blitz, guys. We fail that. But not much. The green player will be able to do, guys. Because he's just simply left with 7 troops and only received 5 troops. So game over, green. And right here, the blue player already took the last available place at that moment, guys, when he left the game. So yes, basically, he took the 4th place, guys. When the white player got third and the green player will get second. The green player can just simply break through those. I mean, not even continents, he can just simply retake over those continents, guys, and that's it. Just simply retake over those territories, guys, and that's it. He, well, he broke through Central Europe, too. Do I have a set? Because, okay, I do. It would be interesting to see how many troops the blue player had on his capital. 65 troops. Let's trade on a set, guys. Well, I guess I'll just... Okay, well, no, those territories. I mean, are those territories connected, guys? Okay, so just let's just simply add more troops over here, guys, like that. Let's add the rest of my troops over here. Let's see, okay, 27 on the blue player's capital, guys. I blitz that. Let's eliminate the blue bot from the game just for fun. Let's go after those territories over here, too, guys. We are going for the world domination victory. Let's go the last territory, guys, and that's a uh, GG. We are blocked the blue player like that, guys. And that basically guaranteed us an instant win.